three brand new rigs this week. This is episode seven of my rigs. All right, now first up we have this setup by Amin. Now before I even go into all the specs and stuff like that, I just want to say that I really like his setup simply because he managed to really keep things really neat despite the fact that his desk is really small and obviously his walls are not really pretty and stuff. But in terms of neatness, I would give you a 10 out of 10 for this whole setup. Now Amin's actually using an i5-4460 processor on a MSI H97 Gaming 3 motherboard. He's also using the iSchemo 120L all-in-one cooler which obviously gives you more bang for your buck and in terms of how much it costs versus the Corsair cooler, I guess the i Kimo is a pretty decent deal. Now Amin's also using an ASUS Strix GTX 1070 graphics card kicking all the awesome graphics on the ASUS monitor which is the VX239 monitor and I've heard some good reviews about this monitor so I sort of understand why you picked this monitor even though it's at 1080p. Now cable management wise I can't really comment much given the fact that I'm unable to actually see what's under your desk however I really assume that given the fact that your top of your desk is actually really really neat I think cable management seems to be on point. Now I really like the entire color scheme of white and everything but I, I think is that a a GPU brace or something like that, I think that seems to be a bit out of place. So by removing that little acrylic panel right there, I think things will look really much better. But then again, it's a personal preference last. So if you like it, you can keep it. If you don't, man, hey, just get rid of it. If there's one thing that I would actually also recommend, probably get a new chair because I don't think that chair would go easy on your back if like you play games for a couple of hours. Overall, good stuff, I mean, and thank you so much for joining. All right, now up next, we have this setup by Zamri. Now, before I even go into how his setup looks like or cable management and stuff like that, I'm just going to quickly kick out his specs. Now, Zamri is using an i5-6 600 processor on the SROC H110M motherboard. I'm a big fan of his case, man. I like his case, which is the Fentex Evolve ITX case. Now, he's also using a pretty damn decent graphics card, which is the GTX 1060 from Zotac. However, in terms of cable management, there's a lot of things that I think he should actually work on. And before I even go into cable management, if I'm not mistaken, that cooler positioning is a bit wrong. I'm not too sure if there's going to make any big difference in terms of your cooling capabilities. Now, if I'm wrong, please leave some comments in the comment section below. Now, I'm still a bit unsure on like what's his whole cable doing behind his monitor that thing that's dangling from the top it could be a power cable it could be the fact that his plug is actually on top of the wall or something like that and just a quick suggestion though i will again suggest again and again and again i will actually suggest people actually put their case on the floor if you have quite limited space on your table because trust me man if you were to put your case on the floor you have way much more space on the table and then that would give you a bit more room to play a bit more room to do some cable tidy as well cable management doesn't seem to be on point i think it's a bit too messy i think it's a bit too tight i think the table's a bit too narrow in terms of its depth so you could probably get a new table or probably move the case on the floor. Now overall, I can't actually say that I'm a big fan of your setup, but then again, it's a more of a personal thing. Now, if you like how your setup, if you're comfortable with how it is, then hey, you're good to go, man. Anyway, thank you so much for joining Zamri and good stuff. All right, now finally, we have this setup by Eugene. Now, first and foremost, I really do not know what is he actually doing with all those little graphics card on the table, to be honest. I probably think it's for sure. Highly doubt that he leaves his graphics card on the table. He must be a real fanboy of Founders Edition graphics card, man. But hey, man, what works for you works for you. Now, inside of his Thermaltake F31 case, he is housing his i7-6700K processor on AMS iZ170AX powered titanium gaming motherboard. Now, it doesn't end there, though. Now, Eugene's also using a GTX 980 Ti graphics card, kicking all those little awesome graphics on his massive display or his massive monitor, which is the 48 inch Philips 4K UHD monitor. Now just in case if you guys are curious, I'm going to leave all the specs in the description section below for you to check it out just in case if you guys are curious what are these guys using or if you are keen to have a similar setup like this. Oh man, cable management, I really got to say something. I think you managed to do it really well on the floor, but you hit all your cables behind that monitor, man, it does look like a mess. A couple of cable ties would actually fix it, so I would suggest you to do that ASAP, man, ASAP. Now Eugene's also using a Corsair K70 Rapid Fire RGB keyboard on a Cherry MX Red Switch. His mouse is also a Corsair though, which is the M65 Pro RGB mouse, which I was also a big fan of until I found the G900. Now overall good stuff, Eugene. I'm not too sure if that bear right there on the left hand side is actually quite suitable in terms of where it's supposed to be. But hey man, if you like it, go for it. Thank you so much for joining, Eugene. Good stuff. Now which one of these three rigs are your preference now? Are you a fan of Amin's rig or do you prefer Zamri's PC or do you prefer Eugene's whole massive 40 inch monitor setup? Let me know in the comments section below. Alright guys, that's all I have for this week. Now don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. If you dislike this video, you can also hit the dislike button as well. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to leave all the specs of all these three guys in the description box as well for you to check it out if you would like to use them as a point of reference. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well because that's going to be really, really awesome. And if you want to submit your pictures of your rigs or if you have any questions at all that you wouldn't like to post in the comment section, you can email it to me at mindgamebestgiller at gmail.com. It simply means playing games are awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.